everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Concept Dash. Today I have a Arch Linux distribution. It's a new distribution called Zero Linux. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install Zero Linux on my virtual machine and test it out. Let's see what it is. So here we have a pretty popular Calamaris. Uh, installer uh, nice little welcome graphics here let's go ahead and click next ah this is something we don't see quite often in linux distribution we get the option to select what drivers uh, which kernel we we want to install um from, from what I read about this distribution, uh, we, we will have the option to select a few uh, default applications that we can in install um, right from the get-go right here. So let's see. Uh, I, I will go ahead and use the uh, stack kernel um, processor U code. Uh, for this, I will use, I'm using the Intel base hardware. Um, light DM, uh, th th this is a, uh, desktop environment. So let, let's go ahead and, uh, select this. I will select everything in here. Uh, Optimus manager, long-term support kernel, Zen patch kernel. No, uh, I will not be selecting any of these. Uh, one, one thing uh, we have to select, uh, as you see down here at the bottom, it says audio driver. Uh, must select one, else no audio. So if you do not select a default audio driver, then when you install the system, you will not have any audio components. So let's go ahead and see what we have. So we have pipe wire and pulse audio. Uh, I am not that familiar with PipeWire, so I, I will be using Pulse Audio. Uh, Pulse Audio is pretty common across various Linux distribution. Uh, on this page, I think that is all I personally need. So let's go ahead and click Next. And here we go. So what applications do I want to install? Uh, we have Android and iOS tools, benchmarking tools, audio music, uh, Dev Studio. Um, let's see, internet. Uh, browsers, we definitely would need a browser. Uh, we have some pretty popular uh, browser, Brave, Chromium, Falcon, Firefox, LibreWolf, Tor, uh, I, I, I am I really really love using Tor, but in my experience sometimes it is very very slow. So I'll, I will be going for the developer edition of Firefox. Uh, for email client, uh, I, I love using Thunderbird and Mailspring. So for this, let me go with Mailspring. Mailspring is, is very very nice. I really love that. Uh, Social clients, uh, no. For download managers, I definitely need FileZilla and Transmission. There we go. Uh, we'll need LibreOffice. As for package managers, let's see what they have. Uh, Snap, Genome Software, and Flatpak. Those are the ones that I'm pretty familiar with. Those are the ones I love using. For remote desktop, I definitely need Romina and TeamViewer. For terminal emulator, this is just to have a extra terminal emulator. Um, one I love using is Alacrity, and I will need the themes as well. Themes, uh, themes and tools. See what they have bunch of different themes. I will just select sweet theme just for the heck of it. Utilities. Uh, I would need putty. I love using putty and Wireshark. So 
that'll be all, all I use. For video tools, I definitely need video pair, VLC, Streamio, and MPV. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead, click next. Select our location, detects the location. It should de detect your location as long as you have location services en enabled on your system. Uh, default keyboard and let's erase disk. I will not be using any swap partitions. Uh, file system, uh, you have the option of BTRFS, XD4 or XD3. I'll be using XD4. BTFS is it's not a very bad option, but personally, I, I feel as if XD4 is a bit faster than uh, BT, BTR, FS. So let's go ahead and install. Or before that, let's create a user. So name is zero, VMware, center password. Center our password again. And we're logging automatically. Use the same password for administrator account. We hit next. We get a summary of all our settings. And then we install. So while this is installing, I'll just wait a minute. So a few things to note, uh, Zero Linux is pretty new. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, this is one, one of their, I think, second or third iteration of Zero Linux. Um, I, I've, I've seen a few test cases and it, it it's pretty fast. It is very responsive, very efficient. Uh, it comes with um, a pretty good um, idea behind it for how they want the system to work. So while it install, I'll pause the video here and get back to you as soon as it's done. You can see this is the KDE Plasma desktop environment. Uh, th this is just one of the desktop, desktop environments used on the uh, Zero Linux. So uh, pr pretty st standard um, bottom bar here. We have our Firefox Developer Edition. Let let's see how fast uh, that opens. And the, this will be the first run. So it'll probably take a few seconds to open up. And there we go. Have our Firefox. We have our system settings, or I should say, taskbar settings here. Uh, notification, clipboard, night color control, vault, lock keys, uh, standard KDE Connect to connect your cell phone, uh, battery and brightness. Uh, this this only uh, applies if you're using. Uh, a laptop. All right. Let's go ahead and check out file manager. File manager used on this one is Dolphin. One one of the most important uh, aspects of using a file manager for me personally is to be able to connect to the root, the host uh, computer. So, for example. Currently, I'm using a virtual environment, so I, I will need to be able to access my uh, host computer uh, in order to use this. So let, let's see if I'm able to do that. I'm assuming it would be network services, SFTP, and 
I believe it is, yes. And this would be my computer. So let's enter my password. And now the credentials for my host computer. And it does have access to my host computer. So this is very, very important to me personally to be able to access my host computer. Uh, sometimes I just need to copy files from the host computer to my virtual machine or my virtual machine to the host computer. So that that's very, very uh, refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the KDE menu application launcher. Pretty standard favorites all application and then we have our application categories most of the application that i select to be installed or install we have avai which comes by default filezilla i selected to be installed firefox uh, kitty connect for cell phones come by default mailspring my mail client putty team viewer transmission by default, Vivaldi is the default web browser. I also throw in Wireshark there, just for reference. And media, VLC, Streamio, Pulse Audio for, for audio, MPV player, my LibreOffice, different settings. We also have our light DM settings. We could go ahead and uh, change the desktop environment. I, I will not be doing that right now because this is just a brief look into what this Zero Linux is. And we have a few utilities. So let's go into the settings and see what we have in settings. We have our system settings. We have a light theme or dark theme, depending on which one you would rather to use. This is dark theme. That's a light theme. We can change our display. If like me, you're using multiple monitors, you will have your additional monitor show, show up here. Uh, I've set this uh, virtual machine to only show on one monitor currently. Uh, audio settings. Or network settings. I'm currently uh, sharing network with the OS computer. You have the option of adding your online accounts. You could do it here. KDE Wallet. Uh, I'm not sure what the KDE Wallet is, but we'll check that out in our next video. So that, my friends, are basically just a brief look at the Zero Linux Arch Linux distribution. In our next video, we will do a deep dive into this Linux distribution. We will see. Uh, if we could use it as our go-to operating system for our day-to-day -day activities. So until then, stay tuned. See you in the next one.